All right, so we finished it up. Look at that. Pretty happy. Some of it's a little, a little dip, a little, just a little bit, but it, you know it'll still help the rain fall off down in there. So, I mean that pile was way over here, like right where I'm at, right here, and it was piled up, probably about eight foot on the backside, and then I had to push all that down. Some of it had to dig, but I guess when he dozed it up, he had that thing dipped out through there. Bunch of roots. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and start on that pile over there. So that way I can go ahead and at least see how far I may be able to get done. But the only thing I'll be left with is stuff like this and that, the that over there. So they're and in the actual garbage, so but it's already starting to sprinkle or mist. So go ahead and get uh, get me something to drink and then head back down there to start um, the other pile. So, <laughs> narrowing down the last bit, I've also got to go help a customer out. Uh, they uh, done something with the water piping or something like that, or their main water my water line is on the ground, so they wanted me to dig it, which they couldn't afford at the time because they lived on uh, Social Security or something like that, or disability. So, I'm fixing to help them uh i'm gonna go grab the ditch witch and i'm gonna 
they already got it dug they, they just need me to cover it so uh, i think there's rock right there so they said if they can at least cover it you know a couple inches in the ground at least it'll be under the ground instead of you know on top so we're going to go ahead and get loaded up get make sure everything's locked up and then we'll uh i'm gonna try to mulch uh probably tomorrow but not really sure i like just a little bit and i'm gonna see what they want me to do first when i come back so i got that pile done uh i'll show you but that was the last bit and then i got a mulch and then pick up all the trash and some of this needs to be kicked around a little bit but the wind's hitting and it's getting real cold so with a little bit of chunks i'll hit those with a mulcher just to kind of flatten them up a little bit find a piece of pipe but with all the rock it was hard for me to to get in here and actually you can see rock rock right there right here over there and over there so and a little bit of mulch piles which should probably take about an hour to hit but other than that that's the best i could do because it's just so wet you can see how wet it is because we're sitting on sandstone but that's it for the day go ahead and uh Run back to the house and grab the other machine, the ditch witch. It's probably dead as, dead as a doorknob. So. But that's it for uh, day two. I hate having old wore out stuff freaking irritating so tried to hook this up uh i had the bucket on you know so i tried to pop this on which everybody knows if you've got the, uh, a mulcher the, the main supply one i think this is supply is the hardest one to put on and i've had this to come loose once and if it ain't on there tight it'll, it'll mess with the when it clips on I've smacked it with a hammer, sprayed it with a, a brake clean. I mean, it moves, but it just not. It just will not pop on there. I'm absolutely frustrated because I'm already 30 minutes behind, I guess you'd say. So it's not wanting to pop on there. And I pushed with everything I got, completely dirty. So uh, I was like, well, maybe it just. Uh, so I got some hydraulic fluid, tried to pop it on there, and it's it's not icy or nothing like that. So uh, I have no idea why it's not going to pop on there. It's not going good, to be honest with you. So I ain't going to make this a wasted trip. It smells like cedar in here. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the uh pull the piles out uh they said i can go ahead and do another day i was gonna try to mulch that up i was gonna spend most of the day mulching and then go across the street at the house over there where we worked behind that field you can see the field right over there where we mulched behind the house uh because that's his rental property right there so i was gonna pluck all the stuff behind the house where the fence goes straight and it's just like a where it drops off which i'll show you but uh i don't know if this just needs to sit there and maybe figure itself out or what but uh i'm just gonna before i get real pissed off i'm just gonna go ahead and start using this one and uh start cleaning up and then i guess 
run over and pull all the stuff out across the street and then get all the garbage out so that way i can uh, mulch it so uh everything being so cold i'm not really sure how cold it is it's not supposed to warm up anytime soon it's supposed to snow throughout the day and i tried to that dirt i had to run over it like four or five times to for the big old clots because everything's frozen still so uh and then I, really i've got to mulch some piles up i really have to so i'm going to try that one if not then i'm really i'm going to go home because today is just not my day because everything's fought me this morning and all of that the uh, f-250 both the uh, batteries which i've been trying to charge them for the past two days and i put them back on the truck it would would start the truck because the batteries once we had that first night with the arctic uh winds or whatever it was the cold they killed the batteries look at the, the 450 it had good batteries in it but uh so the 250s need two batteries because uh when i come out this morning they was boiling and they didn't have them on a high charge so uh and it was hot so i've always been told by the old timers that when the batteries are hot when you're charging them they're bad or something i couldn't tell you but i'm just gonna go buy two new ones just to be done with it and then the fitting on that one is uh was pissing fluid out and uh so I had I ordered a new fitting which they didn't have in stock had to wait so brought me some cookies to eat I mean and a water I won't be able to get to, to eat that just because everything's frozen and it, it's not going to warm up so it's the Monday after Christmas so I was hoping to get this done and it's not looking like I'm going to because everything's fighting. So I'm gonna try it one more time. If it don't work, I'm gonna throw a fit. Because today is just not, I mean, solid rock when it's frozen. It took everything this to rip up the roots uh, just because everything's frozen. So I really need to mulch to finish this side up and then i was going to have chris come over and grab the uh the stuff with his trailer so that way i can get rid of that so i'm gonna try it one more time so which i usually keep it plugged uh, or hooked up when i do this but the thing is i couldn't get in there to like force it on the the piece which i mean it's not no tension on it or nothing but they get me a spring kit but the problem is I mean, I don't know if the fitting's messed up, but this is tight. So, cause this, this sleeve's on there. I think one of these unscrew, I think this unscrews too. I think, uh, but anyway, so, uh, when you pop it on there, I mean, this thing will be all the way up here and it's fighting me, which I mean, of course this is crooked a little bit, but every time I push it on there, see if I can't get it to do it. show you what I'm talking about <clears throat> so you gotta really get down in there which sometimes you can take the hammer and smack it but see it's not it's not froze what the piss I don't know where my hammer's at it should pop and I've tried to get a screwdriver and pop it but uh, it's absolutely pissing me off to be honest with you Sometimes you can wiggle it and then try to turn it, but it's not let loose. And no, that is when I first bought it. See, it's got a gap on this side versus this side. Everything has to be so daggum cold. See, look at the bottom line. I don't know if the when it warmed up the other day maybe ice got down there and it's just i mean it's not gonna warm up so i've got to i've I ordered a new one of these so i've got to go get it so as of right now i've literally been only here for probably about two hours and then probably an hour and a half of fighting this daggum thing and then to really just beat myself up so but it'll still come but you can only do what you can do 
No, I've got problems. And see, that thing's pissing fluid down there, but I, I can't never catch a break, to be honest with you. See, it's leaking from that fitting right there. Because I just spent $240 on this one this year. And see, it's already rounded. So when you buy one thing, the other one goes out. That's why it stays so nasty right here, and that's what's really irritating. I'm just betting it's on this one right here. I don't know if it's froze or what, but I'm done for the day. Very irritating as, as of right now, so uh, everything's froze. It'd be different if it was wet. Like, I found out if it's wet, stuff mulch a lot easier. Like, if it's been raining for a couple days and you come over to mulch it, it's a... Uh, pretty easy um, it's easier to mulch stuff when it's when it's wet versus uh, frozen so uh, I'm just gonna hook this back up and then put it over next to the machine and then I've got to get batteries and I'm just gonna go ahead and spend the day getting stuff and fixing stuff so um, I'm trying to make a video out of it uh, since I I can't really do nothing else. It's not even supposed to get above freezing today. So, I mean, it's, I'm really fighting myself. So, and this is, when it's cold like this, stuff breaks a lot easier. All right, so I got my batteries, which these are the old cheapos, which these are 385 for both of these. And then your core is like 40 bucks. So that's how much money they make off of you. And these are cheap junky ones. So 250. Still snacking on my cookies. And this is one thing I hate about Ford's um, terminals, which, you know, there's so much junk's in there. I, I can't stand these style just because the, the corrosion gets stuck in between the, the, the splits. Right down in there, you can see it. I knocked off a bunch of it with, the, with these right here. Smacked it. I mean, that's all the corrosion on it. That's sad, but... So I got these... So I'm gonna put the, uh, they got the little ins isolator or insulation pieces on there. So I'm gonna put those back on there and then hopefully it'll run. So it's still, still cold. I was coming up the driveway and there's a puddle and it had a bunch of ice in it. So it's still frozen. All right, so the new batteries worked out. I did, really didn't want to have to buy the batteries. I tried to charge them, but the battery acid was boiling out of them so uh which is not good and the actual if you look on the top of the battery it has like a little sight glass and it was red so which was uh bad anyway so it's not good but the truck is running i got them uh got it running so that's all that matters cold that's it I won't have to wait the ground is still solid I was trying to uh, come over here see the little ribs it's still I mean it's still too cold so I just went ahead and call it a day and hopefully it warms up tomorrow enough to to be able to finish up, I need some money rolling in ASAP.